Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick midsummer update video. Um, around this time of year, what I like to do is start catching some of the fish, give them a quick inspection, make sure they don't have any little infections or sores or things that I can't see while they're in the pond, and also get a, a kind of a measurement of where they're tracking. Uh, it just gives me a kind of good reference point to see how much they grew in the season uh, and, and where they finish at around December, November time. So, you know, the, the last time I measured this guy was in uh, December of last year, and I think he was. He was about 18 or so inches um, at that time. So this is actually one of the very first fish that I bought. Um, I bought him in November of 2018. So I haven't had him for a full two year period yet. Um, when I bought him, he was about the five, six inch mark. Uh, domestic bred fish, uh, Genrin Chagoy. Um, paid, for, paid about 20, 25 bucks for him. But you know, you can see he's doing really well. Uh, very thick body shape, you know, nice head shape. Uh, you know, decent tail tube as well. Um, you know, this, this body shape is not something you would typically see in a male fish so this is you know this is a male typically see this on the bigger females but you know i'm really happy with how this guy's developing and very nice color very nice body shape so i'm going to hold him up against the measuring tape and see where he's at so far you can see him in the sunlight very 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 nice olive greenish yellow color And it looks like this guy's right at 22 inches, so. And not, not too bad of growth for, you know, not even having him for a full two-year period there, so. Get him back in the pond and we'll pick out the next fish. All right, this one here is a female uh, Potachina or Platinum Ogon. So I purchased this guy in February of 2019. So I've had it, you know, a little bit, about a year and a half now. Uh, this one was super tiny when I bought it. Um, so again, this is another domestic bread fish from a local koi guy that I'm not sure where he sources the fish from, but they're not definitely not Japanese. Um, this one was about five inches, four and a half, five inches, so very small. This one grew really nice so far. Um, I wish the the body shape was a little bit thicker towards the back half of the fish, but so far it's doing very well. Uh, this is actually one of the females that I pulled out during spawning and stripped the eggs manually. So she was really thick at the time, so after stripping the eggs, she's gotten a lot skinnier. So let's go ahead and get her measured up as well. So she is at 21 inches. Again, really nice skin, beautiful color on her. All right, this is a Ginrin Benigoy. So again, one of the other very early fish that I bought. So this was purchased in fall uh, 2018. Uh, again, about six inches or so, but one of the time I bought it. Um, you can see it's, it's got a couple of black specks, little shimmies coming up on the skin. So not the best skin quality, not the best color, but really, really, really happy with the body shape on this one. So you just got the, the big shoulder hump there, very thick tail tube. Um, looks like he's got a little a little sore here. The scale might have gotten knocked off. Let's get her measured up real quick. She has about 21 inches also. It's a massive body on this fish. A couple scales got knocked loose there earlier. We got a little scratch and a little bit of blood. I don't think it should be an issue.
Okay, here we have a big Yamabuki um, Ogon. So this one was actually purchased from the same place in the same time as the first Ginrin Chagoy we looked at. Uh, so this is uh, late fall of 2018, so I haven't had her for a full two years yet. Actually, I think this one's female, but I'm not sure. I didn't see any spawning activity, so it might be a male. I, I figured female just because of the long and soft body shape. But so far doing very really well. Let's get a quick measurement. She's right at 22 inches. Nice thick body. Again, you know, a little bit weaker in the tail area, which is typical from domestic, cheaper quality fish. But, you know, paid 25 bucks for this one when he was a baby. Yeah, fairly happy with the results so far. She lost a couple scales a couple of weeks ago during feeding time. Was it there? Starting to go back. You can see them there coming out. Okay, this guy here is one of my absolute favorites. You know, I think it's one that has probably the highest potential within my pond. Uh, this is a, uh, I, I don't know if it's a male or female. I hope it's female, but this is a Showa from Sekiguchi Koi Farm. So this is purchased from Genki Koi in San Jose. Uh, I picked this guy up in June of last year. So I had him for just a little bit over a year now. So when I bought him, he was at the uh, about 10, 11 inch mark. A little bit bigger than your average Tosai. Uh, but as you can see, I mean, this guy's developed into an absolute tank. So. Super thick shoulders, um, you know, nice thick uh, tail area as well. You know, no Benny issues. The red color is holding up nice. The, the white is very white and pure. And, you know, a lot of the Sumi starting to cut them down. It looks like it's pretty decent quality. So I think last time I measured this guy in December, he was around 18 inches or so. So let's see if he's stretched out in the last couple of months. It was like 21 inches, so and really have high hopes for this guy. You know, develop into an absolute tank of a fish. I mean, just very strong body all throughout. Yeah. Some of the sumi wasn't here before, so like this little line that's trailing down the gill plate here. This is this has started coming up in the last couple months, so I think it's going to continue to spread. Looks like this might continue to come back here as well around the head area. Super nice fish, very nice, nice, deep, thick, benny coloration as well. No, I don't see any indication that it's fading or starting to break up, which is good news. So. Okay, this is a fairly new addition uh, to the pond. I've only had this guy for a couple of months. He came from uh, Sacramento Koi. He's a Ginrin Showa from Shinoda Koi Farm. So they actually picked this guy up for me during their uh, fall 2019 buying trip. Uh, they kept him in quarantine you know, for a couple of months and I think I picked him up. It was uh, around mid-March, I think. It was right before all this uh, COVID-19 stuff started um, you know, really taking off. So I was lucky to be able to get him before they had to close down all the facilities. So I haven't had him for too long, uh, but this guy's a male, really nice body shape so far, nice quality Benny, nice quality skin. Uh, Sumi's kind of gone down a little bit you know, over the last couple of months, but that's typical when they're in this young stage, the Sumi will come and go, you know, with you know it maturing over time. So when I picked him up uh, a couple months ago, he was 16 inches, so I don't expect him to have grown too much since I've only had him in here for about four months or so. So let's see what he's done. It.
That's actually surprising. So he's uh, 19 inches. So he's put on three inches since I've gotten him. But got him in March, kept him in my quarantine tank for about another six weeks. And he's really only been in the main pond for, I'd say from May to July. So a little bit, you know, three months, but you know, he's already grown three inches. And he's really thickened up in this region here, which is nice. Again, really nice Benny on this guy. I really like the head pattern on him. So beautiful fish. All right, here we have another Showa. Uh, so this is a uh, Showa from Ogata Koi Farm. I purchased this guy from Champion Nishikigo in San Jose. Uh, this one I purchased in April or May of last year. So again, I've had it for a little bit over a year. It was about seven, eight inches or so at the time. This is a female, it's actually one of the ones that spawned just recently, you know, I had to strip out the eggs manually. Um, I, this is a big personal favorite of mine, even though the quality is not the best. So the Benny has shrank a little bit. You know, you can see, it's, Looks like it's kind of starting to separate a little bit there in the shoulder area. Um, so I don't think this is a long-term fish, but you know, for the time being, I'm really enjoying how she's developing. You know, not not one of the quickest growing, which I think has probably helped for the the Benny. Otherwise, it probably would have uh, probably would have faded a lot more by now. But uh, I'm just gonna keep her as long as she'll you know as long as she'll stay red. Uh, the sumi, I really like the sumi pattern. She's got nice even mukuburu on the base fins. Uh, so if, when I measured her in December, she was about 15 and a half inches. Uh, so let's see what she's at. I don't expect to run too much, but we'll see. So she is 18 and a half. So this is actually one of my tamer koi. Um, you know, she hand feed her a lot. You know, she'll come eat up on my hand, especially when I pull the feeder off in the fall time. So I'm really happy with the body shape, and unfortunately, I don't know if the Benny is, is long term. But, you know, even if the Benny does go away, you know, I think it would look nice as a Tsuri. Um, it probably won't ever lose this Benny up here on the head. This looks quite big, but I think Paula Mary is going to be around here. So we'll see how long that stays up. But, you know, really nice, thick body shape for, for now. So. All right, this is a Ginrin Showa from Koda Koi Farm. This is purchased from uh, Genki Nishikigoi um, around June of last year. So I got this fish the same time I got that big Sekiguchi Showa we just looked at a couple of minutes ago. Um, this is a really nice fish as well. Um, unfortunately, you can see it's got a couple of bending issues. So this has kind of opened up quite a bit here in this area around the shoulder. Um, unfortunately, I don't think this is a, this one's going to last too much longer. It's going to start to break up here, but. Which is a bummer. It's got really nice sumi quality, especially you know I really like the the sumi pattern on the head uh, and the Benny. And it's got really looks like there's gonna be some good sumi coming up here later on. So we'll see how long the the red holds up and if I end up keeping this fish long term. So this one was uh, 15 inches when I measured her him or her in December of last year. So let's see. Twenty inches, so about five inches since the last time I measured them. So I think this should be some really nice sumi once it, this hole fills in up here. Uh, unfortunately, this is the part that's kind of breaking up, and it's a really nice fish. That's one of my my tamer fish. You know, it's always one of the first to greet as you walk up to the pond, and you know, very tame. Always eats out of my hand, so it's almost turned into a family pet.
All right, last fish I'm gonna look at for today since I've been chasing them around and they're all stressed out. Uh, this is a, an Ochiba that I picked up from Champion Koi in San Jose last year. Uh, this one was bought in June of last year. It was about nine, 10 inches or so, if I remember correctly, uh, the male. Uh, doing very nice, so this is actually, you know, this is probably the tamest fish I have in the pond. This is the very first one that was able to start hand feeding and pretty much t train the rest of the crowd to follow along. And you know, now I have a lot of the fish eating on my hand. So, really nice fish. Um, I think the, the brownish orange coloration is starting to break up a little bit uh, around the shoulder area, which is pretty typical from these Ochivas. So, you know, it's, it's very, it's a challenge to find one where the color lasts forever on these, you know, the. A lot of them they'll end up turning fully gray or you know hopefully they'll keep some of the the brown coloration towards the front and the back but you can see there's a little bit of windows starting up there up there on the shoulder so this guy was 15 inches when we measured him in december so. it's, uh, 20 inches so you know five inches a little bit of, you know, about an inch per month is what he's been growing at lately. So, really nice fish, male, uh, very tame. Really nice color on him, but you can see it's starting to separate a little bit here. We'll see how long that lasts. These guys are really nice because they tend to get really dark right now in the summer and then the fall. They'll get much lighter, so this almost turns like an olive yellowish color versus right now it's really dark brown. I right, hope you guys enjoyed the uh, little update here. So this is some of the, the bigger fish that I caught and measured, some of the ones that I had for a longer period of time. I've sold a lot here in the last couple of months and last year, so a lot of what I have right now are newer fish that I'm growing out again. And then just kind of repeat the cycle and end up keeping the ones that I that I like and, and develop nicely over time. So, all right, we'll see you guys next time.